Welcome, here is how to use Notion to coach your online personal training clients. I'm gonna show you how to set up and use Notion as the best client management system that you'll ever use. So I've had a lot of requests for this after doing a review of the main online personal trainer apps. And the short answer is most of them are a total mess of a client experience and simplicity is best. So if you want to see the reason why we don't recommend using any of these solutions off the shelf, have a look at that video. It also gives you a framework to pick the right app for you. The key point is that a lot of these personal trainer dashboard apps are designed to hook you in and have all the flashing lights and exciting bits for the coach, but actually they produce a pretty rubbish client experience for Margaret, who's 50 and struggles with technology. So just bear that in mind, simplicity is best. So here is where Notion fits into the big picture of becoming a profitable online fitness coach. So it's down here in the coaching clients and software tech and productivity, the kind of foundational supporting structures of your business. This will not get you more clients and it will not help you to close more sales. So if you're struggling with those, then stop fussing about with the right bit of software to use and the right logo and optimizing your landing page because those things are secondary to having a reliable sales mechanism, which we talk about in the video in the description below. So with that out of the way, here is why Notion will massively improve your experience as a coach and your client's experience. So you've seen our stuff on building a second brain. If not, have a look at our chat with Tiago Forte, who's kind of the pioneer of this stuff. But the main point is that as a coach, you are a knowledge worker, whether you like it or not. Your goal is to get a client from A to B, and that's using your knowledge and your experience to do that. You then need to manage your own knowledge and to manage your client's data to be able to do that properly. Where you add value as a coach is information, accountability, and objectivity. And different levels of those three things, depending on how new the client is to you and where they are in their training journey. So your job as a coach is to condense your experience and your knowledge into something actionable for your clients. And for that, you need an internal reference guide, which is your second brain. There is no excuse for not having it. And obviously the next step is interfacing that with your clients and giving them access to those resources. So the goal here, and this is what gets me really excited, is that you are copying and pasting the best version of you and sending that to your clients so that you give them the best and the most standardized experience. Imagine the best version of yourself delivering your coaching for you, rather than a kind of sleep deprived version of you at 11 p.m. writing out something about protein timing off the cuff to one of your clients by email. So hopefully I've sold you onto this idea that you need to be deliberate about your system because you can't avoid this problem. Like not having a system and putting your head in the sand is still a system, it's just a really shit one. That is where Notion comes in. And I'm pretty confident that it's the best option available. That's because I'm pretty lame and I spend a lot of my spare time always reviewing the latest second brain apps and coaching tools and things, telling myself that it's market research, but really it's just procrastination. Anyway, what Notion does is it's great for collaborative nested documents. It's got instant online sync and it's cross-platform, so you don't never have to worry about compatibility issues. I'm also really glad that it exists as the first bridge between database nerds and having a clean interface, and it gives you the best of both worlds. Before Notion, you either had to coach clients in the matrix using binary to communicate with them, or use a heavily bloated app that's clearly made by someone who's never set foot in a gym, and that's the ones that I cover in the other video. <laughs> so you can see that I feel quite strongly about this, but we're gonna go back to basics. So quick note, as I say, you've seen the overall map. If you have less than 10 clients, and if you're not generating new clients on demand every month, then your tools and your systems are not the bottleneck. So stop watching this video and have a look at our other one in the description below on how to get that sorted first. So step one, should you use Notion? We use a mixture of Notion and Google Docs. Google Docs for the more powerlifting oriented clients because there's a lot more power in Google Docs in terms of doing calculations and RPE based programming and percentage based stuff. But if you're not all about that life, then Notion is the one that I'd recommend because it doesn't, if your coaching doesn't depend so heavily on numbers and calculations and it's more qualitative and you prefer a, a more pretty looking client experience, then go with Notion. It's also fantastic if you want maximum flexibility because your coaching isn't cookie cutter and actually the initial setup isn't that painful. 
So we recommend build your systems once and then they're perfect for you rather than fumbling with someone else's interface. The customizability also means that it gets better over time and you can adapt your whole dashboard and process depending on client feedback. The other massive benefit, as I say, is that you're copying and pasting the best version of yourself and that includes your onboarding material. So all the kind of startup guide stuff when someone joins your program, getting them up to speed. And that stops clients from feeling ghosted and it stops you having to feel like a broken record giving the same explanations each time. We cover a full walkthrough of how to build the smoothest client onboarding experience and that's in our full program. So if you're interested, you can always book in a call with us to discuss that. Once you've built the onboarding, then you create the master view. And this is where you can see all of your clients in one go. You can see what's been updated, who's not checked in in a while, who needs a new program, all that stuff from one page. Beautiful. I'll show you how we do this in a second, but you can also build your program templates as buckets for clients that fit into different categories. So over time, as you're coaching 50, 100, 200 people, you'll start to find that people fall into typical categories. So male, untrained, over 30, looking to gain muscle. Female, under 25, three years training experience, looking to lose fat. Uh, man over 40s, overweight, no gym experience, etc. Et and so with that, you can start to create template programs that you then customize depending on the client's individual requirements. You can then store those template programs into your dashboard and add them into your client programs and customize them as needed. Okay, so let's show you how to do it. What better way is there to give you a guide to Notion than within Notion? So, it looks like a word processor, but it is deceptive because there's so much more than that. To give you a basic overview, you can type stuff into documents like so, and there's a sidebar where you've got all of your different spaces and folders that are held there, and you can access them quickly using the command palette. So we use Notion for client management and also for content pipeline management and SOPs. So processes within the business. So for example, if I were to go to Propane Central dashboard, we've got all of the stuff in there in kind of a um, table format. You can handle things and tag them similar to Excel or something similar to that. Um, if we go to the, say the audio content calendar, this is all the, the stuff that we have to plan out our podcasts. And so that these are just the, the live ones from the last month but it handles the pipeline of the, the content and all the kind of video concepts too. So you can very quickly access them quite easily. If I go back to the guide to Notion, you can see that if I want to link to a different page, so I want to link to say the audio content calendar, I can do that like that. And then if I click on that, it takes us straight there. The other aspect is the formatting. So if I press forward slash, I can say, heading, heading, or if I want to make it a different color, I can start typing in orange, or if I want to highlight, then there's options here as well, blue background. So you can make your notes look pretty swish quite quickly. Um, and then there's tables. Rather than me explaining all the ins and outs of tables, honestly, the best thing to do is just play around with it. I promise you'll get used to it within 20, 30 minutes of playing with it. And that's, you're gonna learn a lot faster doing that than me showing you the different tables, but you can reference things within tables to other things. You can have tables within tables and that opens up a huge amount of potential. So don't be intimidated by the, the templates that we have and, and all that stuff. I can happy to share them with you, but they're not gonna make much sense to you. And that's because of Gaul's law. It's the idea that rather than throwing you into a system that's already been matured and developed for our use case, is to build the simplest version of that yourself and then make it more complex over time. So rather than building a wheel and then two wheels and then the body and eventually you have a car, but it's not functional until you get to the final stage, start with a skateboard. Start with something that's really simple and then build it up to a scooter and then a bicycle and then a motorbike and then a car. That way it's gonna work a lot better. So to show you how to do this stuff, 
I'm going to go to our client management template. So this is the client dashboard that we have. And when we have a new client, this is what they, they will see when they join up. So you can brand it. You can put some nice um, photography over the top of it, and it gives them everything that they need on one page. They can add this to their favorites or to their home page, and then you're always on top of mind. So we've got a training overview. For example, we tell them when they should check in and how to check in, what to use to track their, their macros, uh, and then starting weight. This is for one client. So this is your master template. You duplicate it for a new client and you update their name. So you say um, Todd Baumgartner. And then that's the training dashboard for Todd Baumgartner. I'm going to undo that because that's our master one. So you don't want to edit the master one unless it's you're happy for that to be propagated everywhere. Then you've got the dashboard overall. So you cover the, the overview document. Um, you might want to make customizations for this. And that's why we highlight things in green for things that might change depending on the client. You give them the macro targets, which you can edit and you can reference in other notes. And then it just gives them some guidance on their diet, common um, common questions, technique guides, and like a chin up progression with further learning and a link to the members area. So it gives them everything they need in one place. We've then got a guide for warm ups um, with a training program and then some information about how to check in, how to join the um, the invite with, where, with Telegram, which is what we use to coach clients with. And then, for example, additional buckets like a handstand progression, for example. So you can add in your training buckets over time into these. We don't have many clients on Notion currently, because as I say, we use Google Docs, but we're slowly switching over to Notion for the non-percentage based kind of less advanced clients. So these all show up in your fitness client CRM. So this is the overall table where you can include information about when they signed up, when they last paid, all that stuff, what program they're on, and you can select from here. So we've got, say, Tina Bumgardner, Gina Bumstadler, and Lena Bumworth. These are all um, relatives of Todd Bumgardner. And so when you click into that, then you have the individualized training dashboard for each of these people. And you can make customizations. You can share it with that person by email and they can edit it and make comments. And then you can add comments in here. So you can say, uh, great work, Tina, new program coming tomorrow. And you can set that as tomorrow, for example. So then that sends as a comment. And if you want to archive it or resolve it, you can always do that and it disappears. So there's the overview. If we go back to the guide, see how rapidly you can move across it as well, is create your master template, duplicate that into your client notes, invite their email, and then add links to resources and build that up over time. Your master template will become something that's super valuable in itself, and it's the signpost for where your clients go in future. You then have context-specific communication, so let's say if we go back to Tina and we want to talk about her warm up or her Monday program, we can go to her chin ups and we can comment and say, um, make sure to um, not to swing. Or you can say, use bands this week, use the purple band this week, what, whatever. So I'm not, not very creative with, with Tina Baumgartner, but you can see that you can comment on the specific thing within the dashboard and she will see that as a notification, but within that space too. The other great thing about this is that you can use the client dashboard as a shared notepad to discuss goals with your clients, for example. So let's say I'm on a call with good old Tina and I want to share my screen as I'm talking to her on Zoom. We know that her goal is this, for example, fat loss with a slow reverse diet and muscle gain. I can then create a new page in here, which is Tina 2022 goals discussion. I can also link to that in here. So I can say Tina goals and it's come up there. So she can quickly access that from here if she needs to. While I'm on the call with Tina, 
<clears throat> I can say hash and then goals 2022. And then we have double hash for sub goals within that. So we can say body, being, balance, and business. That's the framework that we use, for example. So we can say body, want, bigger bum, being, better gardener. Balance, eat more pizza, and then business, make mad bank. And then we have that all in one place and we can, we can discuss that, we can format it nicely if we want to. So if you can't remember the, um, the colors, you can, you can change them in there. So it's all very customizable. You can make, you can put things into columns as well. So if I want that to the side, we can do that too. So you can see how <clears throat> this basically gives you a canvas and a way to collaborate with your clients in a really smooth way. The reason I'm not going to go too much into technicalities is that you just need to play around. Just move fast and break things. Don't be worried about breaking stuff. This is your space to create completely as you want to. If you're worried about it, play around with it and then maybe onboard one or two clients just to test the waters and see how everyone finds it. Speaking of which, if you have less than 10 clients and you're still watching this, then you're probably procrastinating because as I say, software is not going to be your bottleneck. What you probably do need is a reliable sales mechanism to generate clients on demand every month. And that's what we can help with. So book in a call below to discuss that. We can help you to take your business to the next level, deliver this stuff at scale and become a profitable online fitness coach. So book in a call and we'll speak to you soon.